Hi there, I'm Lou. John. Hopefully you've come in, uh, this is the end of a, a series which we hope you will take some time to listen to. We've yeah. done HOPE, which is the acronym that is the overview mm -hmm. <coughs> in terms of our program. Uh, and we've gone through the different HOP and we've got to E, yeah. uh, which is evaluate your process. I'm going to, um, your progress, sorry. Progress. I'm going to read this. Um, uh, to know your to know whether your strategies are working and if your circumstances are improving mm -hmm. you will need to carry out an evaluation this will mean going back to the share assessment and comparing where you are now with how you were when you made it mm. possible outcomes are that things have improved in which case your strategies are working and you should keep doing what you're doing mm -hmm. or things may mu be <coughs> much the same or even worse in which case you need to rethink what you're doing. Another not uncommon outcome yeah. is that things are much the same, but you have improved. Having a perception of control over the situation can make a huge difference. Okay. So there's actually three little sections there. Um, so we, we can kind of do possible outcomes are that things have improved, in which case your strategies are working. Yeah. Just, just to talk about share then. So... Yeah. You, we hope that you kept the bit of paper that you started with and you looked at share and you go back to it and sit down and see uh, a kind of assess against the one and do it again. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't watched the, the S one about share, then go back and, uh, sorry, um, if you haven't looked at the assess, you, the harm video, go back and look at that. Yeah. But basically what you're doing with that is you're looking at your life and what are the consequences of drinking within your life? What is the impact of it within your life? And then scoring it, um, whether it's important, not important, you know? And if you go back to that, then you can say, look and say, well, okay, some of these things are changing. Now there are worksheets to, do, to help you with this, aren't there? Oh, it's a whole book. Yeah, so, you know, you don't have to do it randomly. No, you actually no. can download yeah. something and John takes you by the hand and kind of talks yeah. you through it. So, yeah, no, there's a, there is a workbook, there's prompts, uh, there's, there's videos, there's all sorts of things about it. Yeah. So, you know, it, it is our suggestion, it's probably a good suggestion, is actually to do it and then maybe two or three months time to do it again and yeah. just a, yeah. do a, a yeah. kind of a check. Um, so we do know that things change and, and yeah. things improve because we get um, some lovely letters back from people. You know, I, mean, I mean, one of the things I, I would say is that, you know, you might be sitting there saying, oh, that sounds like a real faff. Mm -hmm. But you may say, this is your life. <laughs> you know, you, it's, it's, you need to put a wee bit of uh, effort into it, you know, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm unapologetic about that. If you don't put some effort into your life, then, you know, mm -hmm. Not nothing's going to change. No, and can I? I'm oh, sorry. Can what, I? There's an old saying, and it's very, very true. You know, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and I, I was going to say, can also that one thing you will find if you've lived in this kind of dance for a long time, there's a huge amount of confusion. Yeah. You've got a, a, a partner that, um, that's swearing black is white a lot of the time, yeah. that is lying because yeah. there's yeah. lying goes with the whole thing about addiction. Mm -hmm. um, and so after a while, we begin to doubt ourselves. So having something concrete that you can yeah. sit down and do yeah. and go through, um, I think is enormously helpful to the confusion. Yes. There's some quick wins to be got there as yeah. well, you know, and, and and that's 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 actually important. It's important to, you know, to help you uh, to make you feel a wee bit more hopeful yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so so have a look at that. Yeah. Okay, and then this uh, the second bit of this was things may be much the same or even worse. In which case you need to rethink what you're doing. Okay, say a little bit about that. Well, the thing is, I, 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 again, I'm, I'm you know. There are some drinkers who are just sort of incarcitants, you know, they, they, they just, they are deeply embedded in their drinking and if unfortunately that's, doesn't, they're not going to change. Mm. Doesn't really matter what you do to them, they're not going to change, you know, and, and, and that's really very unfortunate. Um, it also might mean that you're not doing sort of things that maybe you could have done and you could or you could have done a wee bit better you know and um, there are a whole heap of things right at the beginning of uh, bottled up which is you know just talking about stop there are certain things that we know that are natural reactions uh to drinking but tend to make things worse you know so what we're saying here is 
is it getting worse or is it still the same? Yeah. Uh, because if you're really honest, some of the things that we say yeah. wouldn't be a good idea to do, yeah. you're still doing. So there, there are two possibilities about why that's the case. And what I'm saying is that it may be the drinker themselves or it may be the fact of the, the, what you are the way you are reacting to the drinking. And we talk about the four Ps, you know, and we talk about, you know, punishing, policing, you know, protecting, etc. And, and and these are very important because what we do know is that they may be natural reactions, but they actually make the drinking worse. Yeah. You know, so if you're continuing to do that, stop it, stop mm. it, you know, and then see again what's happening. Is it changing? Things? We have to say with great sadness, and we have certainly come across them in our work, that mm -hmm. there are some drinkers, and you watch them. I mean, I've been involved with one or two situations yeah. where the situation is just getting worse and worse, and you just wonder when they're going to come to the point where they realise sure. how bad it is. And there is a bad ending, yeah. and that is really sad. And um, we wouldn't be being, we wouldn't be being fair to you if we didn't say that sometimes you will listen to this and you will be with one of those people. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we utterly and completely support you to begin to look at removing yourself from the situation. Yeah. However, John looked like one of those to the moment that... Absolutely. I mean, I, 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 I was, you know, you've heard my story. I mean, I was given six months to live, you know, mm. until the brain damage, liver damage, you know, and if I continued to drink and take drugs, I would be dead in six months. And here I am, still, I'm still around. So, yeah, I, and there are many, many like me. Unfortunately, I've also buried one or two friends, mm -hmm. you know, mm. and, um, and, and and that's obviously a sad, mm. you know. So, I, I mean, if you go to, um, uh, uh, you know, the medics now, you know, you go to doctors about other things, they will tell you, well, you know, you've got so much of a chance, you know. Um, they tend to give you percentage chances these days, you know, mm. and whereas previously they never talked about the negative side of it, you know, and now they, they, they have to. And, you know, there is a chance that some drinkers just do not get better, mm. you know. Um, now, what you might need to do, because actually Sandra, your wife, removed herself from you mm -hmm. before you who got to that very bad bit. And so you may need to put yourself and your family in a different environment if they really are a chronic drinker. Mm -hmm. um, but you may feel that you want the, the connection and the relationship to continue, mm -hmm. but not to have it under your roof. And, and some of you may uh, need to do that. Um, yeah. And you may see ch change happening with your drinker, but not under your roof. And that may be a very um, kind of uh, winsome and pragmatic solution yeah. if you're uh, you, you know you're in this second category that we talk about where things are, are yeah, just getting worse. Creating worse. space from the drinker um, however you do that whether it be you know a different room different house mm. you know um, uh, can be uh, it can be successful mm. I mean yes it, it was successful with me because I had nobody left to, uh, um, blame. to blame anymore yes. you yeah. know um, because I blamed her for quite a lot of my drinking, you know, um, you know, if you did my wife, you would have drank the same. That's what I used to say, mm. you know, who am I harming anyway? And things like that, you know, and then when she left and yeah, I went very quickly downhill. Yeah, I didn't have far to go, but I went very quickly downhill and I had nobody left to blame, you know, except me. And again, do yourself a favour and just get to know the programme and kind of do it because um, you've, you've been had so much pushed on you. Mm. And if you do leave in the middle of the confusion, there will be a voice that says, you know, could I have done more? You know, was it really my fault? You know, and again, um, if, if you apply the program, uh, you know, I mean, John is a professor of drink and drugs. This isn't a kind of a whimsical program yeah. that we thought we'd put together. You know, there, there is a lot of kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, deeply uh, embedded in research. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He's deeply embedded in research. <laughs> <laughs> it's deeply embedded in research and practice. We, 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 we have seen this work, you know. Yeah. We, we, we didn't just wake up one morning and just write some stuff down in a bit of paper. Yeah. There's a lot of um, thought went into this. There's a lot of work went into this, you know, and, uh, and a lot of experience went into this, both professional and uh, personal experience yeah. went into it. So, again, apart from if you're really going through horrendous abuse, get out. But, you know, if you if a lot of people start the programme yeah. because there's something... Yeah. They feel riskable in their situation. Again, 
The last thing I'd like to say about that is that, um, you know, we, it's an analogy we use quite often, which is, um, you know, on the plane, you know, and uh, the steward is standing in front and saying, you know, when the oxygen mask comes down, put yours on first. Yeah. You know, so you need to look after yourself. You need to look after your family. Um, and if that's at the expense of the drinker, sorry, they make their own choices. You know, that's not abandoning them. That's actually being pragmatic. That's looking. If you didn't put that oxygen mask on, you know, then you can't really help anybody else. Therefore, you need to look after yourself. Make sure that you're okay. Yeah, and if you are at that point where sadly you feel you've got to go, yeah. can we both say well done, well done? Because yeah. we, you wouldn't be here listening to us if you haven't really, really yeah. tried to make your marriage, your partnership, yeah. your relationship work. Um, so we would finally say to that, yeah. if you are assessing the harm sadly and saying goodbye, we would just say very, very well done. Every now and again, we get a comment from somebody which is basically saying that, you know, we're not doing this right. We should be telling everybody to leave, you know, and, and, and you know, and we think, oh God, another one. And what we have to say is that the people who tend to come to Bottled Up come here because they are compassionate, because they love the drinker, because they want to do the best that they possibly can for the drinker, and you know, and we are very proud of the people who come here, you know, and, and, and we'd rather and a million times over work with these people than the ones who just, you know, come out with these comments, you know. So, you know, you're here because you love the person, not because you don't, you know, yeah. and anything you've done up till now is to try and help. Yeah, we do understand if you come out with a comment, sometimes that's not where you sit. It's yeah. just what you feel. Yeah. You might have people here even uh, from the website yeah. that have come that and we, we don't say that in an exclusive way. We love to work with yeah. you. Um, but we're here to, to try and sustain and build, yeah. rebuild relationships. That's that's our passion. It is, but that's everybody's got their own path to walk. Yeah. 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 Everybody's got their own yeah. path to walk. So the last one here is about, you know, your drinker might not change, but you will. Yeah. You know, and that's actually, you know, we, we used to put it as a guarantee, you know, that you work this program, your drinker might not change, but you certainly will. Mm. You know, and... That's an English guarantee, by the way. English guarantees are not legally <laughs> binding. <laughs> Just what we say. <laughs> so don't sue us. That's no. what she said. Yeah. <laughs> don't sue us. Um, we're, we're English. We're not in the American. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we there, there is a research that's been done looking at um, uh, people in this position, you know, and what they find is that they're higher in depression, higher in uh, anxiety, higher in um, medical. Uh, psychosomatic problems, uh, hospital and GP use, all of that. And if you work with them and they actually engage in a program, then what you find is that the anxiety goes down, the depression goes down, all of that goes down. Why? Because there is a feeling that you have some power back in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're, we're trying to do. We're, not, we're trying to empower you. And if you feel a bit empowered, maybe your drinker hasn't changed, but you've actually got a wee bit of power back in your life. You don't feel quite as powerless. You feel you've got a wee bit of control on your life. You know? yeah. And that's what's important. Yeah. We are doing a, a video um, on learned helplessness, aren't we? Um, because we feel that that kind of, it's mentioned yeah, yeah, in yeah. this, and we feel that that would be a good one to do. So mm -hmm. watch out for that one. Yeah. Um, so, um, I think we, we, we kind of can draw this to an end, can't we? We, we hope that you found it. Can I just say, if you're evaluating the progress, if you're evaluating it and it's working, good, keep doing it, keep doing more of it. If it's not working, then you need to start and think again mm -hmm. and maybe go back into share and say, are there other things I can do? If you find that there's nothing that you can do, then that might be a time. Mm -hmm. To look at going. Remember, John is here. He works with drinkers and yep. he works with families of drinkers. Um, you can find out on the website. We do charge for that because we are therapists. Uh, this work is, is um, free. Yep. Um, but he's there and um, you can do, well, just look on the website and it, it points it there, does it? So they're one to one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I bet it's all you see in the menu, one to one. Yeah. Or well, if you're looking on your phone, uh, scroll down the menu and you'll see one to one. 
And yeah, um, also um, Chain of Care um, is just our kind of uh, philosophy for donating. What we're actually saying is that six months time, somebody like you will arrive at the website and we ask you yeah. to give a donation so that they in six months time can get the care that you're hopefully getting. Obviously, yeah. we don't want a donation if you're, it's not helpful, but if we're helping you, will you help them by donating so that this uh, website becomes sustainable. We have no funding as such for it. No. Um, so yeah. help us help them. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. Yeah. And help us to help them, to help you, to help them. Yeah, I think we're stopping now because I was out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of people. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. We love talking to you. We love you responding. Yeah. Please, you know, get get respond back to us, make comments, and yeah. and tell us what you feel. Um, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.